המבחן, כן. זה היום שהיה לך זמן להתראות במבחן, אני אעלה את היום הבא. So, uh, hi everyone, um, it has been a long time since we last met. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, entropy uh, and the differential entropy, that is the continuous version of entropy, uh, and why entropy is not such a good uh, way to, to quantify things. Um, and the relationship uh, between the relationship between uh, entropy and uh, and performance um, and the uh, error probability uh, and hopefully if we will have time we'll talk about uh, compression. Uh, okay, so let's start. Um, uh, as you saw in the in the lecture, uh, entropy. <coughs> so the definition of entropy is for a discrete uh, random variable x is just sum over all the possible values of x, p of x, log p of x. Okay, and uh, basically it's a measure of uh, how much we are, how ran randomness we have in the in the random variables. It's we measure the uncertainty in the random variables. Yes. Red is good? Yeah? Okay. Um, and what is the unit of uh, the entropy? Right. It depends, it depends in the, in the base of the, of the log. Okay? Um, okay. So if we have a base 2, it's, what is the unit? Right. And if we have base, uh, the natural base? Uh, some properties of the entropy. Uh, so it's uh, it's non-negative. Okay, uh, when it will be zero, right? Um, if we have uh, if p of x is equal to one for some some x, um, also. We have the bound that it, the entropy is not bigger than log of n, when n is the number of, uh, 
the, the possible, all the, the number of uh, possible values that uh, X can get. Um, let's say, uh, let's prove it. So, so age of X, okay, is equal to minus uh, sum over all the possible x, p of x, log p of x, okay? And we can uh, divide it uh, and multiply by 1 over n here inside the log. So we have minus sum over p of x, log p of x uh, times 1 over n, divided by 1 over n, okay? And now we can separate, uh, we can separate this and this, and we have that this is equal to, so <coughs> let's write it, so we have p of x log uh, 1 over n, minus sum over p of x log p of x divided by 1 over n. Okay? So, what is this? Here it's plus. Yeah, it's a plus. Here So, what is this? log, minus log, yeah, minus, minus. No, it's a minus, it's a minus. It's a minus. Um, what is this? Exactly. This is log n, and this, what is this term? It's the DKL between Right. So it's the DKL between P of X and the uniform distribution. Okay? Mm. Right. Um Okay? Now, so we got something that, uh, okay, so, and if P of X is the uniform, this, we know that this is positive, right? So if P of X is the uniform distribution, we got that this is zero, and, uh, and we got, uh, we got uh, the bound of uh, the edge of X <coughs> is, smaller than uh, log n, okay? And, uh, and it's equal if P of x is uniform. Okay, and <coughs> so what does it mean that if the, the entropy is depending on how much we are close to a uniform distribution? If we are very far away from the uniform distribution, the DKL will will be big and we will got a uh, high entropy. Okay? Good. Um, now, let's see if a specific example of, uh, of entropy. So, X is um, a Bernoulli variable. That means that P of X is theta if x is equal to 1, and y m 1 minus theta if x is equal to 0. What is the entropy in this case? So what is the entropy? Just by the definition, right? It's minus theta log theta minus 1 minus theta 
log 1 minus theta and and it looks like like this so this is 0 and this is 1 this is the entropy and this is the probability uh, to get 1 and we have this nice parabola okay and again we have the highest entropy <coughs> uh, in uh, in uh, in half. Is it clear? Good. Now uh, let's talk about uh, conditional entropy. So in this case, um, you know what? First of all, let's talk about joint entropy. Um, we have both x and y, two discrete random variables. And now we can talk about what is the, the, the joint entropy of them. So it's a simple extension of, the, uh, of what we saw before. So the entropy of x and y is just minus sum over all the possible values of x and y. Uh, p of x, y log p of x, y. Okay? Now, um, we can, we can, uh, now we can look on the conditional entropy that we condition on sum uh, of one of the variables. Okay? So, the entropy, the conditional entropy of y given x is um, we can just go over all the possible values of x, the probability of x, the entropy of y given x is equal to some specific x. Okay? So the conditional entropy, we go over uh, all the possible values of x because the condition is on x and then we ask what is the probability to get this x and the uh, and what is the entropy of y given uh, this specific x okay this is also equal to minus sum over all x and y p of x y log p of y given x. Now, um, the condition, the conditional entropy is, uh, is, uh, is non-negative, the same as uh, the, the entropy. Um, when it will be zero, When the entropy of y given x will be zero, the deterministic function of x, right? Exactly. So, uh, age of y given x is zero if and only if y is deterministic function. Okay. Now, when the condition, conditional entropy, wh when y given x will be equal to the entropy of y, right? If x and y are independent, then uh, knowing something about x will not change the entropy um, the entropy okay if x and y are 
independent. Um, if I'm dependent, um, no. Um, and now we have questions. Um, and we have also uh, this relation between the joint entropy. Uh, what is the relation between joint, the joint entropy uh, and the condition entropy and the marginal? Entropy. So the entropy of x and y is equal to the entropy of x plus the entropy of y given x. Okay. So the entropy of both the joint the joint entropy is equal to the entropy of one of them, and then the entropy of the condition uh, of x. Um, and also, of course, it's the same with y, right? Okay. It's the same. Do you draw the Venn diagram really quickly, or do you... What? Do you the Venn diagram? To draw it? Um, yeah. So, if this is the entropy, uh, if this is the entropy, um, no, you know what, no, um, no, it's not that simple to do the event I want um, because, no, it's not that simple. Um, <coughs> I think so. I, I need. I, I will. I will check and let you know. Okay. I think it's not possible, but I'm not sure. Um. If x, yeah, if x and y are independent, so this is good. No, but yeah. I mean, this is, so yeah. it's also true. So, I mean, given this equation, and uh, I, can, I, can, uh, I can say that, that both are independent. You what? Uh, sorry. Uh, I mean, from the left side. So, uh, if like the left side. Yeah, no. Uh, given the equation, can, can you uh, conclude that x and y are independent? No, it's not if and only. It's no if and only. No, it's only one there. So it's on this it's side, right? Yeah, so if, yeah, this is true if x and y are uh, are independent. Yeah, but I mean, if, given, this, if, given this equation, can I output the x and y are independent in the other? No. What? No. Okay. okay. Uh, and the, the final thing is that the condition reduces uh, entropy, okay? So, um. <coughs> uh, so the entropy of x given y is no bigger than the entropy of x. Okay? Good. Um, now, okay, so now let's 
do something, uh, some exercise. So let's prove that if we have some function, deterministic function of x, y is equal to some g of x, then the entropy of g of x is uh, <coughs> not bigger than the entropy of x. OK? If we have some uh, function, some deterministic function of x, we only can, uh, we can only lose the uh, entropy. OK? Uh, and it's true only when g is a deterministic function of x. So let's prove it. What? Oh, yeah, example. Yeah. It's example. Um, so let's prove it. Um, you can see here. So uh, <coughs> let's decompose uh, the entropy of x and g of x in uh, in both in uh, two ways. Okay. So first of all, we can decompose it to the entropy of x plus the entropy of g of x given x. Right. This is so that we can uh, do it. Uh, and what is this? What is the entropy of g of x given x? What? Zero. Right. It's 0 because g of x is a deterministic function of x. <coughs> so it's the entropy of x. And now we can decompose the entropy of x and g of x to the entropy of g of x plus the entropy of x given g of x. OK? And we get that the entropy of x is equal to the entropy of g of x plus the entropy of x given g of x. This is bigger, or <coughs> at least not smaller, than the entropy of g of x. OK? Now, why we cannot do it in the if uh, g of x is not a deterministic function of x? Uh, Exactly. Here, the entropy, if, uh, if g of x is not deterministic, so the entropy, uh, even the, the condition with x will not uh, bring us to, to entropy of uh, 0. OK? <coughs> um, yeah, for example, if we have some noise here, uh, some independent noise. OK. Um, if um, g is a uh, um, vertebra, then uh, I can write x as uh, g minus 1 of g of x, and then it's, it's, it's equal. Um, yeah, if it's one to one mapping, you have here a. Uh, equal. It's equal, exactly. OK? Um, OK. What? What do you, did you ask? <laughs> Question? No. Um, okay. Now let's talk about the, the chain rule of entropy. Um, so you already saw it. Um, 
So the chain rule for entropy say that say that if we have uh, x1 to xn uh, random variables with some joint distribution, we can decompose the 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 mutual the the joint entropy to sum uh, over the condition co the condition entropy. Um, so the joint entropy x1 to xn is equal to sum over all uh, to sum over uh, all the all the, the variables the entropy of the of xi given all the others okay x x1 to xi minus one okay so um, it's very useful. Um, for example, uh, in the exercise, you you have the the chain rule for information that it, uh, and you can you can prove the you can prove it with this uh, with this uh, chain rule and basically all the information uh, information measure uh, have some some kind of chain rule and they are all uh, based on this. Uh, Chain um, rule. <coughs> now, if when we we get a maximum of a joint uh, of uh, of the, the entropy of uh, of all the the variables, when this is maximum, right? When they are independent, why we get the maximum? Exactly, because because uh, we know that condition can only reduce entropy, so this is smaller or not bigger than sum over all the all the entropies, and we get this bound when they are independent and what will happen if they are if we have a, a markov chain uh, that x1 x2 to xn is a markov chain uh, exactly we are just we need only to look so if x1, x2, to xn is Markov chain from the Markov chain then the entropy is just sum over all the the values and we have a condition only on the previous only on the previous uh, random variable okay good um, so this is the entropy now um, by the way um, uh, the entropy is also invariant to um, to, to transformation, right? To one one to one uh, transformation. If, for example, I have if I have some random variable x, and now I have some other random variable a x plus b. What is the what is the entropy? Of uh, of the of y. Right. 
And why is that? Because we are only, the, the, the entropy is only dependent on the probability, and in this case, the probability of y <coughs> is equal to probability of x, y minus b, divided by a. So we don't change the, the shape of the probability, we only uh, shift it. It's just the, um, uh, the example of this case, right? What? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay. Um, now, okay. So now let's talk about uh, differential entropy. So, of course, our world is not uh, discrete, and we want to talk about uh, random variables, continuous random variables. Um, so, uh, uh, most of, of the time, in the in the past, we just uh, we we take uh, we we took uh, right we took integral uh, instead of the sum and we basically we approximate the discrete uh, random random variables uh, to the limit of the of the continuous right we just took uh, very small uh, intervals between the discrete random variables so um, the differential entropy. So now <coughs> x is continuous, and we want to define uh, uh, entropy for uh, for this uh, this uh, random variable. So let's try to do the maybe the simple thing to uh, to do just to take the integral of uh, of uh, f of x log f of x dx. So we say that the differential entropy of x is equal to minus the integral f of x log f of x dx. And it's the same as to say that we are taking the expectation of log f of x. OK? It's very natural to, to define the entropy for continuous variable this way. Um, however, we need to be careful when we are looking on the differential entropy. It's not entropy, uh, and we will see. We will see why. We will see. Let's see what the the properties of it. So, properties. Um, first of all. Uh, the the non-negativity doesn't hold. Okay, differential entropy can be uh, negative. Let's see uh, an example. So if x is uh, uh, uniformly dis distributed in some interval uh, between a and b, what is the the differential entropy of it? What is the differential entropy of uh, of of x? Log b. Log b. Right. Why is that? Because so the entropy, the differential entropy of x is minus the integral between a to b, one over b minus a log 1 over b minus a, okay? So this is the definition, and you can see that this is log of b minus a. 
Now, look on this. What, what, when this term will be negative? Right. So if our interval is smaller, if the length of our interval is smaller than one, the entropy is negative. The, differenti dif sorry, the differential entropy is negative. Okay? So, um, so the first thing is a non negative that can be negative. Yeah. Right. This is a th this is a constant. Everything is constant. Yeah, everything is a constant, right? So basically, you can ah, because, because it's a because it's minus you say yeah, yeah, it's minus. Okay, it's uh, the same as we are always uh, doing integral of uh, uniform. Um. Yeah, I can. Okay, so we saw that negativity, that uh, that the non-negativity property of the entropy is not true in this case. Now, now what about uh, the chain rule? The, ch the chain rule uh, is the same. So the chain rule So the chain rule of the entropy the entropy of x and y is equal to the entropy of x given y plus the entropy of y um, and Okay. Um, what about uh, the 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 fact the property that it's not increasing under uh, under uh, under some function? Um, so I'm not right. But uh, so we saw that the entropy is uh, right. We saw that the entropy is not increasing under some function of um, of x. But in this case, we cannot ensure that the entropy that, that the entropy of x given uh, g of x, as we saw before, is uh, is bigger than zero. So we cannot uh, ensure that it will uh, hold. So also, it's not. Uh, so also, we cannot know if we have some function uh, of x. We cannot know the entropy. Of um, of age uh, of 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 age uh, g of x. Okay. Can you write it down? Yeah, I write it down. So we saw, right? We saw that in the con in the discrete case, the entropy of g of x is smaller. <coughs> then the entropy of age of x, right? And and we, how we prove it? We prove it. Uh, we de decompose the, the entropy of x, g of x, and we have that the entropy of x is equal to the entropy of g of x plus the entropy of x given g of x. Okay? And because this is, in the discrete case, it's at least zero, we know that, uh, that, the end, that this uh, holds. Okay? But in the continuous case, if we have here differential entropy, this can be also uh, negative. So, Basically, we don't know this is 
uh, not true for differential entropy. Okay? They are, yeah. If what? If it's invertible, no, no. If it's invertible, this is this. If g of x is deterministic function, then also in the continuous case, yeah, the entropy is zero. Again? I, I don't see it, uh, how it works for the uniform thing. So, um, like if you take b minus 1 to be less than 1. Yeah. Then what you said? And then use the trans transformation of uh, multiply by 10 or something like that. Okay. So if we again, so if we take the, so the entropy is uh, the entropy of x is uh, the entropy of x is uh, can be okay negative, and then we multiply by t ten, yeah. So the entropy of ten times x will be different. It will be positive. It will be. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh right, you're right. So just a second, just a second. So this entropy of x g of x is if g of x is the monistic function. Um, I think you're right. I need. I think you're right. I need. I need to check it. But I think you're right. If, yeah. If, right. If it's no, you're right. I think you're right. But I need to check it. G of x is deterministic function, but oh yeah, yeah. You're right because okay. So you're right. In in general, okay. So uh, this is the the reason. Um, in the entropy, the okay. So the entropy um, is not depend on the, the on the any values of x. Only depends on p of x. But the differential entropy is depend on the can depend on the on the values of of x. Okay. This is the um, this is the reason. Um, we will see at the moment what is the connection between them. Uh, but you're right, sorry. Yeah. It's my mistake. You are absolutely right. Uh, so, let's so this. Because h of g of x given x is also a mistake. This, yeah. So, this, okay. So, we can do. So, this will, okay. This will hold, okay. But you will not get equality here. You will get equality if this will be zero. But uh, but it will not be zero for one to one transformation. Okay, so why is h of x given g is not zero, but h of g given x is zero? Because the universal 
got to uh, uh, this equation when you say that h and g is given x to zero. So, so if, if, if it's the delta variance, uh, it's a mystic uh, why one is zero and the other one is not. So, just a second. Uh, g of x. Uh, no, you're right. You are the the whole yeah. You're right. The whole term will be yeah. You're right. So just a second. I will make it. Clear. So okay. So what we did in the, the in the uh, okay. Sorry. In the discrete case, right. So we can decompose also both in the discrete and the continuous case. We can decompose it to the entropy of x plus the entropy of g of x given x. And it's, we also can do it then to decompose it to the entropy of g of x plus the entropy of x given g of x. Okay, so in the continuous case, you are absolutely right. We don't know anything about this one, and we don't know also anything about this one. Okay, so the the so what ha will happen in the continuous case? We can only say something. Um, we can only uh, say something about <laughs> the difference. Uh, between h of x minus um, minus the, the entropy of g of x. Okay, this will be equal to to the difference between these these uh, terms. That sorry about the, the confusion. Um, yeah, you are absolutely right. Um, any more questions? Yeah. Can you give some solutions of what this means to spread for young entropy to be negative or the very um example that uh give uh let's yeah, I will give intuition about <coughs> I, you will we will see an example, okay? It means something or it's just another Yeah it means no, there is no something um zero entropy means something now? Uh uh, not really, because we will talk about the relationship between entropy and the uh, differential entropy, uh, and we will see we, we will see some uh, I know, some intuitions why about condition about uh, differential entropy. So, if you if you still have uh, questions, ask them later. Okay, uh, that's it. We have a break now. לא, התיקון פשוט, הדבר הזה, הדבר הזה והדבר הזה ב-continuous uh, uh, variables, אנחנו לא יכולים לדעת עליהם שום דבר. כן. בגלל שאנחנו בעצם, בגלל שאנחנו בעצם, האנטרופיה, כן? האנטרופיה של... זה, זה, זה נובע מהדבר הזה, ש-P של Y, כן, שווה ל... בעצם זה שווה ל, 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 לנגזרת, יש לך פה את הנגזרת, איך אני, איך אני עובר בין, בין X ל-Y, אוקיי? אז אני בעצם, אז אם יש לי ב-discrete case, בסדר? אז P של Y שווה ל-P של X, Uh, ואני רק משנה בעצם, אני עושה טרנספורמציה ל-X, זה יכול להיות X מינוס B חלקי A, משהו כזה, אוקיי? אבל ב-continuous case אני חייב בעצם להתייחס לנגזרת, הרי ב-continuous case, אז עבור אותו דבר יש לי פה Y שווה ל-AX פלוס B, בסדר? אז F של Y יהיה שווה לי ל... מה? ל-1 חלקי, uh, חלקי A, כן, 1 חלקי K, F של X, X מינוס B חלקי A, אוקיי? Okay? 
עכשיו, ואז בעצם כשאני מחייב את האנטרופיה של הדבר הזה, אז היא אותו דבר כמו אנטרופיה של הדבר הזה. אבל כשאני מחשב את האנטרופיה של הדבר הזה, היא לא אותו דבר כמו האנטרופיה של, של X, כי כאן יש לי עוד... ה-A הזה, כאילו לכאורה מה שהכפלתי... אז, אז במקרה, במקרה הדיסקרטי זה נכון, במקרה הרציף זה לא נכון, זה בדיוק בגלל הסיבה הזאת. פה היא לא רגישה באמת. כי, אתה, כי, כי, כי אני מסתכל רק על... על, על, על רק על פי, אוף, על פי של אקס, אוקיי? לא אכפת לי מה הערכים שאני מקבל פה, אבל כאן אכפת לי מה הערכים כי, כי, כי אני הופך להיות רגיש ב-A. אני הופך להיות רגיש, וזאת הסיבה שהאנטרופיה, כדי שאתה משנה את, ה, את, ה, את, ה, את הטרנספורמציה, גם אם היא חד חד ערכית, אתה עדיין רגיש ל, לשינויים. האנטרופיה רגישה לשינויים. אוקיי? Okay? תחשבי, בסופו של דבר, מה זה אנטרופיה? אנטרופיה זה, 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 זה איזושהי פונקציה של, של ההסתברות הזאת, נכון? אז, אז בסופו של דבר, אז אם ההסתברות הזאת וההסתברות הזאת, אני, אני בסך הכל, הן בעצם שוות, כי אני בסך הכל, אני עובר על כל הערכים האפשריים, וכאן אני בעצם, אז אני בסך הכל יכול לעבור עליהם בסדר שונה, דברים כאלה. בסדר, זה... בסדר, זה, אבל זה משנה לך את האנטרופיה. יכול להיות שזה סקיילינג, אבל לא, כאילו, זה לא תמיד סקיילינג של האנטרופיה. אה, כי יש לך את הלוקן שנכנס. <coughs> את אומרת, הייתי רוצה שאני אגדיר אנטרופיה למשתנה רציף, והאנטרופיה לא תשתנה לי. זה מה שאת אומרת. נכון, אז יש, באמת, אתה כאילו רוצה, נכון, אז אחת הדרכים זה באמת לעשות לזה סקיילינג, אתה בעצם, מה שאתה רוצה לעשות, אתה עושה לזה, עוד מעט נדבר על זה, אבל בעיקרון, אז, אז אה, אה, אתה רוצה בעצם, הבעיה שלך באמת זה להפוך את זה ל, ל, למשהו שאתה יכול, בגלל שאתה נורא רגיש לסקיילינג פה, אז אחת הדרכים זה באמת לעשות איזה ריסקיילינג, ממש כל, כל פעם כאילו זה לעשות ריסקיילינג בחישוב עצמו של האנטרופיה, ולהגיד אני רוצה, אני אומר שבעצם אני עושה איזה ריסקיילינג לאיזשהו, תמיד לאיזשהו אינטרוול בין 0 ל-1, כאילו זה משהו ש... זה משהו שזה. ועוד, ובעצם, ומה שעוד מעט נראה זה בעצם מה הקשר בין זה לבין האנטרופיה אז בפועל, אנחנו נגיע לזה בסוף, אבל בפועל מה שעושים, זה, זו, זאת הסיבה ש, שאנטרופיה זה לא מדע כל כך טוב למשתנים מטיפים, ולכן אנחנו נשתמש בדברים הרבה יותר, שפחות רגישים לדברים האלה, כמו אינפורמציה נגיד. אינפורמציה היא אופי שאתה לא רגיש לשינויים, שזה אותו דבר מתנהג עבור זה דיסקרטי ועבור זה רציף. 
בדיוק, כי די.קי.אל לא הייתה לנו בעיה, בדיוק. ו... זה... אה... 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 לא, אתה יכול להוציא את הפקטור הזה החוצה בתור קבוע, כאילו. אני לא זוכר בדיוק למה, אבל אני יכול להיות, ואז... כן, אבל יש... כן, יש עוד הרבה תכונות שאנטרופיה, שאנטרופיה לפרטיאלית לא עוברת, כאילו זה רק באמת קצת מהתכונות שלהם. רוב, הרבה מאוד מהדברים היא לא זה, היא לא חכומה נגיד. אין לך, אתה יודע שפה אנטרופיה חכומה על ידי... מה זה אין פה? זה בדיוק כמו... כן, בדיוק. אתה צריך לעבוד מאוד קשה כדי לנרמל כל פעם את הפונקציה שלך. זה כאילו... כן. יכול להיות שההתערבות זה מאורע יכול להיות חנק של תומכה. בדיוק. זה בדיוק. עכשיו, כאילו לכאורה אתה אומר, אוקיי, גם בפרופיביליטי התמודדנו עם אותה בעיה. כאילו, ההתערבות היא קטנה כרצוני. ולשם אנחנו לוקחים בעצם, אנחנו כן לוקחים, אנחנו לוקחים אינטרוול, נכון? ואנחנו מושיפים אותו לזה מאוד קטן, לאפסיל. עכשיו, אבל, אבל אנחנו עוד מעט נראה ש, שבמקרה של, של אנטרופיה זה לא עובד לנו. זה לא עובד לנו, כי בעצם מה שקורה במקרה של, במקרה של אנטרופיה אנחנו, בעצם יש לנו פקטור ש, שתלוי בגודל, בגודל של, ה, של, של האינטרוול הזה, שגדול בלוג של גודל האינטרוול הזה. ואז כשאתה לוקח את ה... ואז הפקטור הזה בעצם הולך לך, ל, ככל שאתה מקטין אותו, הוא הולך לך ל, למינוס של סוף. ואז כאילו, ואתה לא יכול לעשות, וזה מה שגורם לך הבעיה לכל הדברים. הלוג בעצם כאן גורם לך. כאילו, אתה יודע, הלוג, שאם לא היה לוג זה הולך לאפס, ואז היית יכול פשוט לעשות את אבל הלוג גורם לזה שזה הולך למינוס של סוף, ואתה שובר לך את התרנית. גם, גם אם תחשוב על זה, אבל כאילו מבחינה אינטואיטיבית, אז זה באמת איזה, מה זה, יש לך אנטרופיה, כן, מה זה אנטרופיה? כאילו מידת אי הסדר במערכת שלך. <coughs> אז אם אתה לוקח, אז ברור שאתה צריך לקחת, אתה, אתה חייב לקחת בחשבון ש... תחשוב על זה, יש לך מכל, בסדר? ו, ו, אז ככל שתיקח חלקים יותר קטנים, ככל שתיקח חלקים יותר עדינים של המכל לא, הזה... לא, נכון, כאילו, אני, נכון, זה ברור. אם, כאילו, אם יש לי... אם, כן, נכון, זה נשמע ברור. אם אני לוקח איזשהו רצף, אז כאילו, אי ודאות. ולעומת זאת, הסתברות יש לך דרך להגדיר. כאילו, אינטואיטיבית גם, אתה, אתה, יודע, אתה יודע מה ההסתברות שבתוך כל אחד מהם, פשוט, אתה יודע, תפור את החלקיקים שבזה ותחלק, אבל מה אי סדר שלהם, זה לא, לא ברור. כן, נכון. לא, אבל גם, בגלל זה כמעט לא, כן, בגלל זה לא משתמשים כמעט ב, באנטרופיה, למרות שעוד פעם, תלוי במה, באנטרופיה שאם אתה בפועל, אז אתה תמיד עושה דיסקרטיזציה בניסוי. אוקיי, כשאתה רוצה לחשב, אם אתה רוצה לחשב את, ה, את ה-mutual information, אתה צריך לעשות דיסקרטיזציה. Yeah. אתה, כל דבר שאתה רוצה, אתה צריך לעשות דיסקרטיזציה. Yeah. אבל, אבל, yeah. מה? 
holes. Holes. Yeah. Okay. holes. It's I, it's the only uh, property maybe that holds in uh, the transition. אז, אז אם אתה עושה ניסוי, אז אתה בעצם, אז אין לך כאן קונטיניוס בשום מקרה. אוקיי, אז בכל מקרה יש לך דיסקריט, ואתה בסך הכל צריך לקבוע את, ה, את, ה, את הגודל של הזה. עכשיו, <coughs> אבל, אבל, אבל היתרון נגיד בלהשתמש ב-Mutual Information גם בניסויים, זה בעצם זה שאתה אה, 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 לכאורה פשוט לוקח, אתה תיקח את ה... את ה, את ה, את ה את העידון הכי טוב שאתה יכול, אוקיי? ולכאורה זה לא אמור להשפיע לך על, ה, על, ה, על התוצאה שלך, אבל אנטרופיה זה ישפיע לך על התוצאה. כאילו, יש לנו את זה. אז גם, גם כאילו בניסויים, גם שאתה לא יודע, כאילו, גם שאתה חייב לי, כאילו מהפיית מבט הזאת, שגם שאתה חייב להשתמש במשהו שהוא דיסקרטי, אז עדיין לך, עדיף לך לעשות את זה, כן. כי אתה... נכון, נכון. כן, נכון. גם כשיש לך מגבלות על הזה, זה נכון. ובסופו של דבר נובע מזה שאתה רוצה לקמת משהו רצוי. to emphasize the differences. So, uh, when we did the discrete case, we have this term, this, 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 and we say this is equal to zero. Yeah, yeah. So this is... If G is determined. Right, exactly. Okay. But in the... Uh, but in the continuous case... In the continuous case, I just want to say that we have the, the, the difference between them that The is not depend, is depend on both of the g of x given x minus on both of them. Yes. Okay, that's it. So it just, it just means uh, distance doesn't equal to zero, right? What? Distance doesn't equal to zero. Right? Yeah. In the continuous case. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. I guess I think we need to start, so uh, right. can uh, we uh, talk uh, yeah. uh, after the talk, after the yeah, yeah, yeah. workshop? Okay. You have something to say about that? Uh, can I feel? Okay, so, um, so we saw that uh, most of the 
properties of uh, entropy <coughs> uh, are not holding for for differential entropy. Okay. Um, also, the entropy is uh, the differential entropy is uh, unbounded, right? We don't have the bound of uh, log n as we have in the in the previous uh, in the discrete case, um, and it's also um, <coughs> and it's also uh, not uh, uh, not invariant under one-to-one uh, transformation. <coughs> Um, so uh, let's talk now about what is the connection between entropy and differential entropy. So um, suppose that we ha you have uh, the, the continuous variable, random variable x, and now we want let's uh, discrete discrete time the the its range with uh, bins. Okay. We are taking bins, and each of the bins is uh, in size of some uh, some uh, uh, depth. Okay, so we have, for example, we have some continuous function, and we want to take uh, some bins. some bins and to, to treat this function as discrete, okay? Um, this is the general idea that what we will, we will do. Um, now, um, we will look on the, so we have the entropy, so uh, for example we have, we have uh, f of, uh, of x, okay? Um, so x is the, the random variable, and now we will look on the entropy of x, and <coughs> we will look on the discrete uh, discrete version of this of this uh, of this random variable, um, and we will do it by choosing um, choosing points that each one of them uh, will be in some, in a, uh, each one of them will be in a one of the intervals, okay? So here will be, so x, so in the, the i interval, so if this is the i interval, here will be xi, some place here. And then we can look on the on the random variable, uh, the discrete random variable x uh, delta. Okay, and to look on the entropy of the discrete random variable. Okay, and now this is a differential entropy, right? Because it's continuous, but this is a discrete. <coughs> And what we will, what we want that will happen, of course, that when we will take smaller and smaller uh, intervals, we want that the the differential entropy will be the the discrete one. Okay. We want to recover the differential entropy. Um, if we take the limit of smaller and smaller beams. Okay? It's clear? Good. Um, now, so, how will we will choose this uh, xi? So, we'll choose them that uh, for every, for each i, f of x i times uh, the length of the, of the interval will be equal to 
i times delta to i plus 1 delta f of x dx. What does it mean? It means that we want to choose for in the i uh, interval, in the i, the i beam, we will choose the point the, uh, we choose xi to be the point that if we will take the value of this point the value of this point times the width of the beam it's the same as the integral of the, of the function in this, uh, in this beam <coughs> ok it's uh, clear so the, the the intuition is very very simple. We just take <coughs> some point here that will uh, that will represent the uh, that will represent the the, the, the mass function uh, in this beam. It will represent the the probability in this uh, beam. Yes, it depends, of course. Um okay so here we we have some we have some uh, delta and now we want to to choose uh, to choose the point okay of course it, it must uh, it must depend on the on the size of uh, of the on delta and the size of the beam because for example, I will take uh, um, delta to be bigger, uh, I don't know, to bigger, for example. So this is, this being, right, this is, it's for one delta, okay? And if I will take delta to be bigger, so I don't have this, and I only have one point here. In the, I have, on, I have in this range, I have only one bin, so I have only one point. And before I have two points. Point. Okay, I think I understand. Yeah. So you have a bin, yeah. and then you calculate the integral of the function in this bin. Right. And you're choosing the xi, that when you put it in x, it gives you the integral? That, that uh, x, xi times delta. Is the integral. And how do you know that there is a integral? Uh, yeah, so it's a good point. Uh, it's called the. Well, yeah, it's called it's called the the, the mean value theorem. Uh, it's out the scope, but basically there is a guarantee. You have a guarantee that uh, you have such point. Could be two points. Could be one. What? And so it will be only one point. Oh uh, no! If you have no, of course it can so be. So you choose one of them. You choose, o you choose only one that uh, satisfies this. And what is the motivation for choosing the extra? The motivation? I don't understand why this guy is the choice of xi rather than the choice of the I want to choose I want to choose I want to choose xi. I want to choose points that will describe uh, the best um this will describe the interval, the beam, uh, the best as I can. Okay? So, basically, what I it says that I want to choose the point that uh, it's the, uh, the, the mean of the, you can think of it as the mean of the, uh, of the, of the, of the area. Okay? Why is because, because you just divide by delta. Okay, if this is the area, so divided by delta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also smaller, yeah. Okay? So the intuition, I want to choose points that describe uh, this function, describe the function <laughs> uh, the best as I can 
uh, in this interface. Okay? Questions? More? Um, great. So now, uh, how are you? Um, what is the what is the x uh, delta? So x delta is just <coughs> is just all the points that uh, right x. So x delta is is equal to x i if delta if x is between uh, i delta to i delta uh, i plus one delta. Right, I just take I just take x uh, delta to be uh, the, the the variable, the random variable, the discrete random variable with all the discrete points. The run, random variable x. You only get values mm. that are x delta. The, the yeah. random variable x delta. Sum over x, I actually sum over x delta. You, yeah, you, when you're talking, yeah, in, in the discrete. In the discrete, yeah, when we are you, uh, when we will calculate the entropy of this, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, and. Now, of course, that w when we take a smaller and smaller uh, bins, we will the we will be uh, uh, more accurate, right? The 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 this term will be um, as much as the, the mean of uh, of the bins will be very close to the to to the all the values of the of the bin because we're taking smaller and smaller bins. Um okay now and what we are going to prove is that um th th so in this case um uh, is this the x delta i equal what the condition uh, right here here. So yeah, so I said yeah. So yeah, I said I'm taking so uh, x x delta is the random variable that defined by all the x i. Okay, all the points that I chose uh, when uh, when if if I'm getting uh, for for uh, for a point in the interval, I'm just taking for uh, for some point in the interval. I'm taking the, the the point that I chose to be the to be the value of it. Okay. If you give me some point, you just need to look in what interval it falls, and then to take the value of the of the of the x i that you already chose. Okay? This is exactly discretized, discretized uh, random variable. Now, um, now let's see what is what is the entropy of uh, of x uh, of x delta. And again, this is entropy, it's not differential entropy. So what is the, the, what is this? Basically, it's a sum over all the points, right? I, ca I have all the natural uh, numbers. Uh, sum over i in z, z P of i log P of i. P of i is the it's well maybe it's P of x i log P of x i. 
Okay? Now, this is sum over. <coughs> so, what is the so they say what, what is the probability of the of getting the the point x i? What? So. Uh, so this is so exact. It's the exactly exactly this one, right? So th this is the probability to getting the point x i. So this I have sum of p of x i delta log of f of x i delta right and then I can just uh, separate between them and I have that is equal to sum over uh, all the all the points uh, f f f x i delta log uh, f x i plus f x i uh, delta log delta and this is equal to uh, this is the same so this sum minus sum f x i delta log f x i and I can take I can uh, insert here so here we have this I can insert the summation to here right yeah in the second because you have you have this one no, he, I, I he, the sum is yeah, the sum is all of this, and now I can do the, I guess, uh, exactly what you you said. Um, so I can get out the log uh, log delta, and here we have the summation of f x i delta, right? And this is distribution, so. I, this is equal to 1 and we got that it's minus sum over f x i delta log f x i minus log delta okay um, <coughs> now this term um, if we um, if we assume uh, remain that uh, the, the, that um, that f that f uh, x uh, delta log f x is uh, that f x log f x is uh, uh, something that's called a uh, Riemann uh, integrable uh, I don't want to get into exactly what is this, but uh, what is this, uh, what does it mean, but uh, basically it says that when we are taking delta to, to be uh, to, to zero, when delta um, goes to zero, then this term minus f of xi delta log f x i goes when delta goes to zero this goes to the integral over the space of f x log f x and this what is this term?
Exactly. This is the differential entropy of X. Right? So this is the differential entropy of X. Okay? So, <coughs> uh, so when here, so what we saw that the entropy of of our uh, discrete random variable plus log uh, delta. Uh, um, the, the, yeah, the, the entropy of, of this is equal to um, to log to the to the differential entropy minus uh, log delta when delta goes to zero. Okay? So when we when delta when we taking smaller and smaller beams the the entropy the discrete entropy that we 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 hope that it will converge to the to the to differential entropy <coughs> doesn't converge to it. We have this term. And this term goes to minus infinity. So the, the, these uh, two terms are, um, have some uh, competition between them. Uh, and and we, we don't get what we really want. OK? Is it clear? Exactly. No, log delta goes to infinity. To mine. Um, because delta goes to zero. Okay? So, <coughs> it goes in the other direction of uh, differential entropy. Okay. So we saw that differential entropy. <coughs> we saw that differential entropy uh, even in the uh, 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 in the in the limit uh, is not equal to the to the entropy. Okay, and this is this is uh, exactly the the problem. The when we want to calculate the differential entropy, we are to discretize discretize differential entropy. We have we are depending on the uh, the width of our beam, and we we cannot ignore it. Um, and this is why, for example, we are uh, we are not using differential entropy uh, because it's really sensitive to our choice. Of, um, Yeah, but this will be... Yeah, I mean the long term, so it will be infinity, right? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so is the differential entropy sensitive to the beam size, or is it... No, differential entropy, no. The discrete? Yeah, if we want, exactly, but if we want to... Yeah, sure. Differential entropy, you don't have any discrete. Yeah, because because you have some <coughs> what you really have. For example, if you have some experience, so you want to um, uh, you want to uh, to measure something that it's uh, that it's continuous, but you only have sample of it. So you approximate it 
with some discrete version. Okay? And but the problem is that if you are using entropy, so of course you cannot measure the differential entropy, okay? And, uh, and you want to only to, to estimate it. But the, your estimation is very sensitive to the bin that you, that you are taking. If I try to estimate the differential Exactly, exactly. Okay? And this is why we are using uh, mutual information, for example. That it's not that you can uh, define, uh, you already said that you can look on mutual information both in the discrete and in the continuous case. Okay? It's because uh, the decay algorithm goes between discrete and continuous uh, Okay. Um, don't take a lot of time. So. <coughs> Question. No. Um, okay. So now let's look, uh, for example, of the entropy of a uh, normal distribution. <coughs> we have a uh, we have random variable that is uh, normal with some u and sigma to the square. And we want to calculate uh, the differential entropy of it. Okay. Um, so, what is the differential entropy of the normal uh, distribution? Suppose it's uh, trivial. Uh, it's uh, minus the integral between minus infinity to infinity, two pi sigma to the square uh, minus my uh, uh, to minus half uh, e minus x minus nu to the square divided by uh, two sigma to the square right ln the same uh, same thing uh, two pi sigma to the square uh, to minus half e minus x minus u to the square divided by 2 sigma to the square dx and now <coughs> we can take the line um, we can take the line uh, outside okay and uh, take the minus half of it also outside so we have here half ln 2 uh, pi sigma to the square integral um, so we have this so it's 2 sigma uh, 2 pi sigma to the square uh, minus half and e minus x minus mu to the square divided by 2 sigma to the square okay so this is this term uh, and now we have plus this term and the line and the exponent uh, are Cancelled, uh, so we have <coughs> so we have um, one over two. Uh, so we have here one over two sigma to the square. The integral between minus infinity to infinity to uh, sigma two pi sigma to the square minus half uh, and this one, this term x minus u to the square um, e minus x minus u 
to the square divided by 2 sigma to the square dx and this this thing what? it's 1 exactly and uh, so 2 pi sigma to the square and what is this? Exactly, uh, because this is exactly the, the, the variance and you have here plus half. No, I think it's plus half. Um, and, and that's it. So, so this is uh, this is the 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 the, the entropy of uh, of the Gaussian, uh, and if you want to convert from lan uh, from uh, from lan to log uh, from net to to bits, you need to you need to to convert to the lan the lan here. So um, basically. You can do it by half is equal to half ln e and um, and you will get at the end that the entropy of x is equal to half um, ln 2 pi e sigma to the square. Okay? And you can see that the entropy is um, <coughs> it depends on the the variance of the of the Gaussian, okay. So if we have some uh, very small gas, very small variance, um, then uh, the entropy will be negative. Okay. okay? It's clear. Good. Um, time. Yeah. So now let's talk about the relationship between inform between uh, entropy and estimation. Um, we want to <coughs> let's let's return to discrete case to, to entropy, um, and w now we want to estimate some random variable y based on some other variable random variable x. Okay, and. Uh, of course, that intuitively um, the, the estimation will be better if uh, x will contain uh, if x contains a lot of information about y. But it's trivial. Um, and le let's see, we will see some uh, some lower bound on our estimation. So <coughs> let's see, let's see the this uh, lower bound that will gives us that will give us something that the, the, uh, give me if the, the best possible thing that I can do, that I can estimate, is, uh, is, um, is, is bounded by the entropy, uh, by the entropy of, the, of, of y given x and some other, uh, some other terms that we will see, okay? Is it clear? I want to estimate. I want to estimate x. I want to estimate y, and I want the connection. How bad I will be uh, in estimating y? Um, some bound that related to the to the entropy of uh, of y given x. So let's see. It. It's called.
So <laughs> it's called Fano's inequality. And it say I have x and y um, with some uh, joint distribution and I am estimating y with some function of x. So I have some y hat, this is my estimation of y, this is the function of x. This is my estimator, I'm getting, I have x and I'm estimating y by this estimator. And uh, uh, let's denote the, the probability of error to estimate the wrong y. Okay, so is the probability that y is not equal to y hat. Okay, this is the probability that I'm wrong. Y. No, y we are estimating Y. No, we are estimating Y. We have X and we want to estimate Y. What is the relationship between X and Y? Or is it just general? General. Two random variables. But I am getting X and I have some function that tells me what is Y. What is my prediction for Y. Okay? And now, uh, and I have also the entropy. The entropy of of uh, of PE is just is just the entropy of the Bernoulli random variable with mean with the mean PE. Okay. And final inequality says that the entropy of this, the entropy of the uh, the error plus uh, the probability of the error log the cardinality of y minus 1 is bigger than the entropy of y given x. Okay? Log of what? y is log of the cardinality of y. Is it the so, uh, so basically, it's the the set, the, the cardinality of the set, all the possible values that y can get. Oh, it, it, okay. Um, and y is, so I, I will not prove it to you, you can find it in my, in my, uh, uh, in the summary, but why is this nice? Are you talking about um, discrete variables or? Discrete yeah, discrete. Or it's, it's yeah, this is, the, yeah, it's the entropy. Yes, log the cardinality of y minus 1. <coughs> why is nice? The yes. Yes. Um, now, so if so if uh, if uh, uh, if this if the size of y is bigger than 2, okay? We know we we can uh, uh, take from here that the probability of error is bigger than the entropy of y given x minus one divided by log of the size of y minus one. Okay, so it gives me a lower bound on the probability of error. I cannot do anything better than this, than this term. What is this term? So this is the entropy, here it's x. So this is the entropy of y given x <coughs> divided by the log of the size of the <coughs> of y minus y. Okay? What did you get from this?